All right, Coach Barrett, another win, another conference dub, and another great performance by Gianna. Uh, first talk about her performance and then that of the team. Um, you know, I like the first inning we threw a few more pitches than I'd like to, but then, I mean, she kept the pitch count down, and that's um, – I'm playing numbers with her with that. You know, I want to – I would like to keep her innings down. I'd like to keep her pitch count down so that she's freshest and at her best at the end of the year. So, um, does what she does, wiggles the ball, uses her defense, gets some strikeouts. Um, keep some momentum on our on our side and you know when they get into scoring position I feel confident because she's just strong throwing any pitch that she wants to throw is this the best she's been throwing since I mean you I mean you've known her actually longer than anybody so I, I've kind of just appointed the UCF but I'm curious where does this right now where's the way she's pitching where does this rank in her career overall as someone who's known her the longest yeah I think she's getting better every time she throws really um, this this summer for her um, she got a little taste of, you know, that success from last year and um, she's, she, I don't think she missed a workout. I don't think she missed a, like, even a bullpen that she, you know, created on her own in the summer. Um, and Jada stayed here with her too, with, along with some of her other teammates. So um, it is the best that, you know, she's getting better every time she throws. And I think it's, even if she doesn't have her stuff, um, she still, like, is, is learning and trusting that, like, all right, I can utilize my defense and you know I, I can throw the down ball I can throw the up ball whatever is gonna work that day and so you got to see that with Virginia Tech because Virginia Tech made it a, an adjustment on her in uh, game three and she switched gears and held us in there and I just love how she has the ability to do that how would you say the team pivoted from going up against a team like you know Virginia Tech ranked number five to now going back into conference play for the rest of the regular season yeah it's you know it's tough because um virginia tech sometimes when you don't know somebody it's probably i wouldn't say easier but you just kind of play a little bit more free and then conference is tough because everyone knows you. you i mean we played this team four times last year um so there's no hidden secrets of you know who's who and what what we can hit and what they can hit so um there's a lot of focus ability to adjust and executing a plan Speak of, you know, Jada getting that RBI hit, but Janisha Rowe, yeah. two hits. We haven't really talked as much about it, but she's been setting the tone there, getting on base over 400, hitting over 300, kind of showing what you saw there when she was at Florida Gulf Coast. Yeah. Well, um, you know, <laughs> the last few games, like if you looked at our stats for like eight games prior to today's game, um, you wouldn't be like, whoa, this team's amazing. But we're five and three against top 50 teams in the last eight games, right? Um, and... I, we, you know, Janisha and I sat down and just chatted today and I said, hey, um, you know, I know that you're, you're not feeling like you're as successful as you would like to be, but I want you to see what you are doing. And when you face those types of pitchers, these are, these are good numbers. They're not great numbers and I get that, but look at this number. This is the most important and it was five wins. We're five and three in the last eight games against the teams we've been facing. And so um, I said, but now it, it's your turn to you know be, put havoc on the the defense and she did that today so loved her at bats loved what she's doing love how she kick starts our our lineup um you know kennedy was our, our leadoff hitter last year but it's it's even more fun to have kennedy come up with somebody on so man kennedy drove in a run too has been flourishing at the two spot hitting in front of jada yes yes i i mean i think all of them really have um you know added to each other's success um, like Jada having the RBI that she's having and um, even Shannon you know like Jada's cleaned up those bases quite a bit and Shannon still has the RBI that she has I mean there's something to be said about that um, and so it, it's just fun to see them all work together and I don't want to be a pitcher against those four five six I mean shoot one through nine and then the people that we can bring off the bench as well this is Alumni Weekend. Obviously, you had a big yeah. event on Thursday. The players have gotten to see a lot of the, the alums. Dottie Cup, the original great pitcher here, pitched in the so first awesome. two years, got to be here, meet the team and others, making Greenwell. There's going to be more on the weekend. How do you feel the players are handling that as far as getting to now know the, the alums here and knowing the history here as the year has gone on? I, you know what? I think they're really loving it because I asked them. We had a Zoom call last night. And, I mean, to ask 18- to 22-year-olds to give up, 8.30 till about 10.15 on their, um, you know, Thursday night, the night before a game. They might be studying. They might just want to watch Netflix. Um, and they were locked in and dialed in. And so we had our, our player 
coach meetings today and all of them were like, we loved the stories. We loved hearing from them, like how they grinded through. And I think what's so cool is hearing how proud the alumni are of this current team. Um, Cause they're grinding through it. Like there's times like, you know, people on the outside are like, oh, they're so successful. But it's hard to feel successful when you go up against a Rochard or, you know, a Coric and you have six to seven strikeouts. It's hard to still feel good and get through it. And that's that's why they're darn good because they're they're still showing up. They're still doing it. They're doing extra. Um, and so to hear the alumni speak so, you know, they're so proud of them and just the connection. And I, I'm meeting some of them along with them. So it's just cool because we're very family oriented here. And um, I want them to feel like they can come back. And I'll, I'll say it. You know, our goal is to get them in that front seat at the World Series behind our dugout, um, acting crazy. So, you know, we talk about the team learning the history of this program, but obviously this current team is making a little bit of history of its own. Jada Cody becoming the ninth UCF player in history to get 100 RBI. She's obviously also on the quest to best Stephanie Best 66 RB, RBI season. Uh, can you speak to J Jada Jada's performance as she has now made a little bit of a little bit more history for this program? Yeah, I think Jada, you know, credit to hard work and then her teammates. She can't do any of that without them. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess she could hit 66 home runs, but no one has done that, right? So to, in order to get the RBI that she has, like she needs her team and um, her team erodes those pitching, the pitchers and the pitching staffs that we face. And so um, I think that's a big part of it. And um, she's had even games where maybe she struggled and then Kennedy or Shannon um, pick her up and then she's back at it again. So I love how they compete and they pass the bat to each other and um, Again, I'm just I couldn't be more proud as a coach for them. Obviously, you got the rest of the weekend here. Memphis played well. They're, they're a scrappy team, young team. They got you know no, they play with no fear there. What's the approach here? The remainder of the series here is starting tomorrow. Yeah, I mean defensively, I liked what we did. Um, it's tough to play with this wind and the fly balls, um, and I think we did a really good job of communicating, recovering on one play. Um, so I like where we are defensively. Offensively, um, it's always tough to come off some of the pitchers that we've been facing and like still still play with confidence and so that's what we talked about right before that sixth inning is hey ladies like let's go up there and, and swing at what we want to hit not okay don't swing at this or don't swing at that because it's so hard to do and i mean hitting's difficult let's keep it as simple as possible um and so i liked how like we, we you started to see a little bit more of us in that last inning and um, we're going to continue to keep doing that Good. thanks coach